What's up YouTube? So I've got a 2004 Chevrolet Impala SS here. Um, dropped a couple videos. Not sure if it's this channel or my other channel, but uh, this car has a few funny uh, quirks with it, um, especially the security system. That was a real pain in my butt for a long time. Um, but next has been the blower motor, and I'll tell you what it's been doing. Um, it'll just randomly, if I hit a bump, it'll stop working. If I hit a bump, it'll start working again. Um, sometimes it works great. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. So I've read that this is common with the Impalas um, and that it could be a melted connector. It could be a bad resistor or it might be the motor itself. So these parts are pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll put the links to them down below um, and you uh, can pick them up from there. So uh, this is the resistor and it looks like it's, it's pretty far back there, but it looks like it's pretty easy to get to. I'll show you that in a second. Here is the connector that comes with it. The reason this comes with it is because this end plugs in the back of the resistor. Um, the other end goes to the blower motor and there's two wires that have to go into the harness. And so that's why they don't have ends. I'm going to have to strip them and connect them um, to the harness. Now the right way to do this would probably be to solder it and use a good connector. I'm probably just going to wire nut them guys. That's just how I roll. So um, yeah, so the first thing you have to do to get to this is there's a panel under your glove box. It's that one. And you're going to have a tab here and a tab here. You're going to push in on those tabs and wiggle. There's not going to be anything else over here. But over here, you're also going to have a plastic bolt that kind of comes up through here. And it just has to be pried out. It's just got the little fins and it has to be pried out. So now that we're up under here, this is our blower motor. This is the resistor back here. Um... And so, it's pretty straightforward to get the blower motor out. I'm not sure. I'm going to look and see what size. These look like maybe 6 millimeter bolts. Um, to get the resistor out, I haven't seen yet. So, yeah, get started on it now. Alright guys, so all those bolts holding this piece in right here, which is the blower motor, they're actually 7.30 seconds. Um, so, I found it easiest to use a quarter inch ratchet with a small extension. There's three bolts in there, and this will fall down out of here. And that will give you, there's your blower motor, and that will give you a little easier access to get to the resistor, which is right there, which is another reason why you want to change these at the same time. You can also get a look up in there at your cabin filter. Mine looks dreadful. need to change that really soon. Um, there's supposed to be two bolts. I don't know if this has been changed out at some point. But I only see one bolt. It's that gold bolt there on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and take that bolt out and uh, unhook that connector. And then I'm going to cut those wires that go to that connector on the left. And I'm going to cut them very close to the old connector so that I have plenty of room uh, to work with the wires to splice them into the... Into the uh, because those wires are part of the harness to splice the uh, wires into the new connector. So yeah, let's get started on that.
Alright guys, so I've got my um, resistor swapped out back here. Mine was really weird. I had one bolt in this side, no bolt in the left side, but I also had these plastic tabs that were holding it on that I had to break off. It's like a plastic peening. So I had to take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry it and break it off. Um, then you can tell the resistor I got is made to fit different models because the bolt holes, none of them lined up with this side. So the one bolt I had, I had to put back on the other side and it's tight and everything, but it the definitely the biggest challenge was getting back to these two bolts. A small universal joint would be extremely helpful. Um, I've also cut and connected these three wires and uh, now I'm going to hook up my new blower motor before I install it back in the car and uh, just verify that everything works. All right guys, so I've got everything hooked up here. Um, what I'm gonna do is start the car. And you, when you check this working, just make sure you're plugged in, everything's hooked up. I'm gonna lay it on its back because this, this clear piece is gonna spin. And you just wanna barely turn this up, guys. Okay, so we know it's working. Um, if this is not working, if nothing's working, um, you know, you still have, you still should have your old resistor and blower sitting here. So maybe hook those up, see what it does. But really what you want to do is, uh, check your fuse. So your fuse is up here. Pull off this box. Your fuse is right there. It's that 30 amp. It's a big one like this so that can be blown sometimes when you snip the wires uh so yeah we know it works guys so now we're just gonna bolt it all up uh three bolts to put in put the panel back on and we're done so i'm really kind of mad at myself because i've been dealing with this all winter and uh i could have done it in you know half hour an hour so thanks for watching guys and uh be sure to check out the links below to grab your blower motor and uh, your resistor and your cabin filter. See you in the next one.